Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today we'll be doing a little review of my setup right here that is just a little bit modified from uh, my previous Chrono setup. So today I'll be also introducing a new element to my lab test uh, video. So in the future video, we'll have more uh, fun and exciting information from uh, our air guns while we're doing the Chrono test, testing the velocity of the uh, pellets or whatever is flying over this thing we can also test the sound of the gun <laughs> so we can test like what is the loudest uh, sound in decibel uh, from this air gun and then we can compare it you know it's pretty fun like that and so um, be beside that we also set up this chrono differently um, right now so what I learned online from some research is that you have to sort of uh, give it the best lighting possible for the sensor on the chronograph to work the best so this is the shooting crony and it's well known for error 1, error 2, error 9, whatever error okay so because sometimes the light is not enough or sometimes when you're working indoor, um, the lighting is always not love. Like, like even if you think that it's oh, it's very bright inside already. For the sensor, it's not bright enough. So um, the manual say that it's best to use it outdoor with the sky, uh, with, with clouds, overcast sky. That's the best condition. You don't need the roofs and stuff like that. And. So um, to have this thing work indoor, people have invented um, the red cover uh, incandescent lamp and they put it over the uh, roof of that thing so that it will beam down some light. But th it generates a lot of heat and also uh, it, will, it will require like, more energy and stuff running it. So right now there's a new product, it's the red you see the red light inside that is a red LED or no no not red LED sorry it's the infrared uh, LED so it beams down the red light and it shines directly onto the sensor and that is the best lighting for this chronograph to work and also uh, beside that we also eliminate all the other light the the uh, light waves from all around this chronograph to go in from the side so here you see we got some we got a cardboard blocking it right here and then I cover the thing ov uh, all over with a black cloth even the top we got a piece of cardboard there to block off all the light possible and then front and back we have a piece right here that blocks off the light from coming from this way and into the sensor as well so it's purely or almost purely like in a dark room with just the uh, red light shining down and that gives us the best result and then now the problem is when I turn this on okay you cannot read the numbers very clearly from that side so right here I got a tripod or what do you call a photo photography stand set up with a uh, headlamp this is the uh, Nightcore headlight and as you can see I can have different colors of light shining into the Chronos uh, screen so we got blue, green, red etc and then I can even use the white LED which is too bright sometimes so um, setting this thing to the right level I choose to use red just to match that color and not overwash it and then right here we will turn on this uh, decibel meter and now let me zoom in and let you see um, before I start let me show you how I will be using this thing right there I got a trap set up okay what I will do is I will pump or whatever rifle gun whatever okay just take this as a, an example okay. what I will do usually is uh, have my gun ready pellets okay I'll put one pellet in Ooh. okay like that and then I will be uh, depending on a gun like sometimes it's a rifle you need to move back a little bit uh, like that okay so I need to raise myself up but this one is a pistol so pistol I put this on a level so I can basically have my barrel above this this piece here above it okay and then I can just aim so make sure that my barrel is above this uh, piece that I set up for aiming 
and then I just stand back a little bit. There we go. So I aim at the bullseye over there through the trap, and then we can have a reading right here. So let me zoom in and let you see how that reading is like. So right now, let me zoom in, and you can see it clearly. Okay, I set up the um, this thing just good enough so that you can see it right here. You see? Okay, so right here, I usually have to bring you guys over a little bit to here. So you can see the decibel uh, right there. It's the 60-something, 50-something decibel. And then you can also see the uh, FPS right there. You see that the light reflection and all that is all gone. And everything is so clearly seen, you see? Even the numbers, right now you can read the numbers so clearly. Okay, let me go over there and show you uh, and with another shot example okay so now i'm going to pump this gun crossman one uh 1377 okay just to uh give it a sample shot okay it's going to be low power okay so right now we're going to set this thing to show the max uh decibel only okay this one to max decibel okay let's be quiet Okay, so that is a 90.7 decibel, uh, 346.7 uh, FPS, and you can see while I'm talking, the decibel is not raising up, so my voice is not over 90.7 decibel, and the pop is around that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, it's about 80 something to 90 decibel, which is not very loud. Uh, the loud ones are uh, above 100 decibel. So this, uh, this is considered a quiet gun. So if you actually take a look right here, I can, you can see the numbers very clearly right now, right? So in comparison, maybe we'll try a little bit louder, a louder gun, and you can see the gun will reach uh, over it, okay? So right now, let us uh, reset this thing. We will let it cal uh, calibrate, and right now we'll be using a Beeman P1 just to uh, test it out to see how it reacts with a louder gun. Okay, we're going to use it on high power, shooting Crossman uh, Premier pellets, 0.22 caliber. Okay guys, uh, now we are going to reset the crony, and then we're going to set the uh, decibel meter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Okay, this one 82.7. Don't know why it's lower. Maybe I need to really let it cal uh, calibrate a bit. The FPS is 443.2, which is very nice for a Beeman P1 shooting this kind of pellet. So I want to try my Crossman gun again. It's supposed to be more quiet. So I'll let it cal uh, calibrate a bit and then we'll try again. Okay, so eight pumps. Again, 90.5, so somehow, to the years, uh, this gun's supposed to be more quiet, but it's a uh, 90.5. The other one is 82 something, so that's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, you see, the decibel meter, it may be because it's quieter to the shooter, 
but louder to the outside, like to the front. That that could be something um, that is possible. Okay, let's try the Beeman P1 again. I'm not really sure why it's happening that way. Yeah, let me try the Beeman P1 again. Okay, right. This is um, high power, so 433.3, and still it's not topping over 90 decibel. So it's actually quite quiet. Um, you can say that the Beeman P1 is more quiet to the surrounding and sounds more noisy to the, uh, like, sounds louder to the shooter. Um, so that's a pretty interesting thing you got to know. Like sometimes the guns is more quiet to the other people and louder to yourself. So I don't know. Okay, so basically that's uh, my little lab experiment today. And uh, so you can see it right here like that. Okay, pretty cool. Eh? I can now zoom out to this and go back to my uh, nice setup here. Okay, so basically that's my little lab test today. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. And we'll see you in another official review video using this lab um, with other air guns. Bye-bye. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.